Clarice the Curious Cat and her whimsical wardrobe hello. Dear friends, my name is Clarice and I am a cat but not just any cat. I am a cat with a flair for fashion and a heart full of adventure. Let me tell you all about my exciting life with my best friend, Miss Molly. I live in a cozy little house with a red roof at the end of Sunny Lane. The house is surrounded by a beautiful garden filled with colorful flowers, fluttering butterflies, and a big oak tree that's perfect for climbing. But my favorite part of the house isn't the garden or the comfy cushions, it's Miss Molly's room. That's where the magic happens. Miss Molly is a cheerful girl with twinkling blue eyes and a smile that can brighten even the cloudiest day. She loves to read stories about faraway lands, paint pictures of magical creatures, and most of all, she loves to create fabulous outfits for me. Every morning after breakfast, which is usually a delightful bowl of creamy milk and crunchy kibble, Miss Molly and I head to her room. There, she opens her special chest, the magic costume box. It's a treasure trove filled with fabrics, ribbons, buttons, and sparkly things that shimmer like stars. Together, we dive into the box, looking for inspiration for our next grand adventure. One sunny morning, Miss Molly clapped her hands with excitement. Clarice, today, let's turn you into a pirate sailing the seven seas. She carefully tied a tiny bandana around my head, fashioned a little eye patch, and even made a mini treasure map. Our Captain Clarice, she giggled. I swished my tail and pretended to steer a mighty ship, braving the waves and searching for hidden treasure. On a rainy afternoon, with raindrops tapping like tiny drums on the window pane, Miss Molly had another idea. Let's journey to outer space, she exclaimed. She crafted a shiny astronaut helmet from silver foil and attached little cardboard rockets to my sides. Three, two, one, blast off, she cheered. I leaped from the bed to the chair, imagining I was bounding among the stars and visiting the moon made of cheese. Every day brought a new costume and a new adventure. As a graceful ballerina, I twirled and leaped across the room, dancing to the melody of Miss Molly's laughter. As a brave knight, I protected the kingdom from fierce dragons. As an explorer, I navigated through dense jungles in search of ancient artifacts. Miss Molly's creativity knew no bounds. She even organized a fashion show, inviting all her stuffed animals as the audience. Dressed in a glamorous gown adorned with sequins and a tiny tiara perched between my ears, I sashayed down the runway, while Miss Molly applauded and took photos with her toy camera. You're a star, Clarice, she beamed. One day, Miss Molly's friends, Emma and Lily, came over for a tea party. Can Clarice join us? They asked eagerly. Miss Molly grinned. Of course. Let's dress her up as a lady for our fancy tea party. They gently placed a delicate hat on my head, complete with silk flowers and ribbons, and tied a lace collar around my neck. I sat politely at the tiny table as they poured imaginary tea and offered me pretend pastries. We chatted about the weather and giggled until our tummies hurt. But it wasn't just about the costumes and playtime. Miss Molly and I shared everything. On quiet evenings, she would read stories aloud, and I'd curl up on her lap, purring softly as her soothing voice filled the room. Sometimes, she'd tell me secrets or her hopes and dreams. I want to be a writer someday, Clarice, she'd whisper. I'll write stories about our adventures. There were times when Miss Molly felt sad, like when her kite got stuck in a tree or when a friend moved away. During those moments, I'd nuzzle her hand and look into her eyes, letting her know I was there. She'd smile softly and say, Thank you, Clarice. You're the best friend I could ever have. As the seasons changed, so did our adventures. In the spring, we explored the blossoming garden. Dressed as a fairy with delicate wings, I pranced among the tulips while Miss Molly sprinkled fairy dust that made everything sparkle. In the summer, we became ocean explorers. With a tiny sailor hat perched on my head, we pretended the sandbox was a vast desert island, and we searched for shells and buried treasure. Autumn brought a palette of gold, red, and orange leaves. Miss Molly knitted me a cozy scarf to keep me warm. We jumped into piles of leaves, sending them swirling into the crisp air. One Halloween, she dressed me as a friendly witch, 
complete with a miniature broomstick. We greeted trick-or-treaters at the door, delighting everyone with our costumes. Winter turned our garden into a glittering wonderland. Miss Molly and I built a snow cat that looked just like me. She wrapped me in a snug sweater, and we watched as snowflakes danced from the sky like tiny stars. Inside, we'd warm up by the fireplace, sipping hot cocoa and sharing stories. One chilly evening, Miss Molly sat beside me with a thoughtful expression. Clarice, she began softly, do you ever get tired of all the dressing up? Do you wish you could just be a regular cat? I gazed at her with my emerald green eyes and gave a gentle meow. The truth was, the costumes were fun, but what I cherished most was the time we spent together, the laughter, the stories, the love. Whether I was dressed as a queen or just plain Clarice, being with Miss Molly was the greatest adventure of all. She smiled, her eyes shining. I understand, she whispered, stroking my fur gently. No matter what, we'll always be best friends. As time went on, Miss Molly grew taller and her interests began to expand. She learned to play the piano, filling the house with beautiful melodies. She took up painting, creating colorful masterpieces that she hung on the walls. But no matter how busy she became, she always made time for me. One day, she said, Clarice, would you like to help me with a special project? She was writing a book, a collection of all our adventures together. It's called Clarice the Curious Cat and Her Whimsical Wardrobe, she announced proudly. I want other children to read about our fun times and maybe create their own adventures. We spent hours recalling our favorite memories. She typed away on her computer while I offered suggestions in the form of playful paw taps on the keyboard. Sometimes I might have added a few extra letters, but she didn't seem to mind. When the book was finished, Miss Molly held it up with excitement. The cover featured an illustration of us together, Miss Molly in her favorite dress and me wearing a sparkling cape. Look, Clarice, we're authors now. To celebrate, we hosted a grand party. Friends and family gathered in our garden, which was decorated with twinkling lights and colorful banners. Miss Molly set up a reading nook where she shared stories from our book. I, of course, wore my finest attire, royal purple gown with gold trim and a tiny crown. As the sun set, painting the sky with hues of pink and orange, Miss Molly sat beside me under the oak tree. Thank you, Clarice, she whispered, for everything. You've made my life so much brighter. I nestled close to her, purring contentedly. She didn't need to thank me. I was the lucky one. Her love and friendship were the greatest gifts I could ever receive. From that day forward, we continued to make new memories. Whether we were dressing up, exploring the world around us, or simply enjoying each other's company, every moment was special. And so, dear friends, that's the story of Clarice the Curious Cat and her best friend, Miss Molly. A tale of friendship, imagination, and the joy of sharing life's adventures with someone you love. No matter where life takes us, we know that as long as we're together, every day will be a magical journey. Sweet dreams, and may your own adventures be as wonderful as ours.